performer, dancer, World War II spy, St. Louisan. Josephine Baker holds many titles. Now she's the first black woman and first American-born person memorialized in France's Pantheon, that country's highest honor. While Baker was honored in Paris today, the commemoration continues right here in St. Louis. Our Justina Cornell takes us to the Missouri History Museum as we take a deeper dive into her legacy. Josephine Baker is, is definitely an iconic person. A bedazzled outfit worn by Josephine Baker radiates in Missouri's History Museum. Yet it's Baker's spirit shining through. She is going to be included, inducted into the Pantheon, and she's the first black woman to be included. She's the first American born and the first performer to be memorialized there, making it France's highest honor. She is receiving this honor today in France, in Paris, and, and we happen to have the St. Louis Sound exhibit that tells her story. She was born and lived in the Mill Creek Valley here in St. Louis. She eventually left St. Louis as a very young woman. She was always really dissatisfied with the um, racial discrimination. The performer moved to France and rose to stardom in the 1930s, catching the eyes of many with her risque dances in ensembles. However, she was making moves off stage too. During World War II, she began working as a spy for the French resistance. During the Nazi invasion of Paris, she harbored other members of the French resistance in her home. Baker is also known as a civil rights advocate during the 1950s in the U.S. In fact, she, as a performer, refused to play for segregated audiences. In the 60s, she suffered a stroke and never recovered, passing away in 1975. Yet her legacy continues. And it's not just the History Museum honoring Josephine Baker across the St. Louis area. In the Grove neighborhood, we have a St. Louis Wall of Fame mural where Josephine Baker is featured. And in the Ville neighborhood, her name is imprinted on a monument along with other St. Louis influencers. It's a big day in France, a moment shining so bright, the pride is felt here, a place where she's rooted. Justina Cornell, five on your side. And this evening, the museum is also hosting a free public event honoring Josephine Baker. It's happening now until 8.30. It will feature her art, activism, and service, along with some special performances. Teach for America St. Louis announced a new program to